Good evening, guys, and thank you so much for tuning in. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers out there and also all of the comments that you guys are leaving. They have been amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your story. It lets the rest of us know that we are not alone. Okay, so in tonight's video, I would like to discuss narcissistic enablers. Okay, so let's talk about that for a second and why they are so very important. They are vital extremely vital to the narcissistic personality disorder and the reason being is that a narcissist cannot fully thrive if you will they cannot fully thrive as a narcissist without their enablers it's just like how a narcissist cannot be a narcissist without their supply they need their supply. They crave their supply. So their enablers are there as their little, you know how um, if we go and we look at the story of um, Santa Claus and he has his reindeers and it's like Santa Claus can't be Santa Claus without his reindeers. Of course, he still can do his job, but like not really because he needs the reindeers. So the enablers are the reindeers. They are the ones that keep the show running. They're the ones that witness the abuse, that see the abuse, that should stop it and say something about the abuse, the abuse, that should stop it, that should not allow it to happen, but they continue to allow it to happen. So um, you see this with a lot of different types of situations. A lot of people who are alcoholics, they often have enablers. So they have someone that's going to give them the money to buy the alcohol. They have someone who's going to drive them home when they are drunk. They have someone that's going to open their door at 3 o'clock in the morning when they've come home from the bar and they're puking all over the place. Those people are enablers. They are making it okay for the abuse to continue. They are making it okay for this person to continue to do things and they're actually helping this person in the abuse. So a lot of times when it comes to uh, narcs, the enablers could be your brother, your sister, your mother. I find it's really difficult when it is a parent. A lot of people have grown up with two narc parents. Now, for some people, it has been one narc parent, maybe the mother, and then the father isn't a narc, but he's an enabler to the narc mother. So even though he's not like her, and you can go to him, and you can talk to him, and you can find a kind of have like some common ground there and discuss things with him, and he's not going to attack you and go crazy, you still cannot get him on your side to help in your defense against, against this person. You can't even get him to validate what you're going through because nine times out of 10, he recognizes the abuse for what, he, what it is and he's so extremely afraid of it. He's so extremely afraid of it. He doesn't want it to happen to him. So he feels like I'm just gonna go along with it and I know what's happening to you and I know it's wrong, but I'm not gonna interfere and I'm not gonna get in the way. So they make it okay for narcissists to be narcissists and they say things like well that's just who he is well you know dad or you know mom or well if you know that that's gonna upset him then why are you even doing it as if to say if you know living your own life and making your own decisions and using your own brain that you have in your own head is gonna upset your father then how dare you do those things and they basically turn it on to you so growing up um there are a few people who are enablers in my household um, with my father and when I would try to go to them and I would sit down and talk to them especially siblings you know they would tell me some of those same things they'd be like well if it upsets him that you don't come over here three or four days a week then why don't you come and I would just get so riled up like that's the whole point of this conversation I'm trying to explain to you that this is wrong that I shouldn't be forced to come over here and have so much of my time soaked up to basically come and be his narcissistic supply I shouldn't have to be subjected to that or I would have the type of enabler that would sit there and say oh I understand I see where you're coming from yeah that must suck that's not right that's not okay and then when the time came to speak up and use that same voice they go numb and I say well she feels the same way as me and then it'd be like don't don't get me involved in it I don't have anything to say so the narcissistic enablers are sometimes worse than the narcissist now some of you guys are probably gonna fight me on this you probably have different opinions and you may say well the enabler is a victim as well and yes they are but majority of the time they are an enabler because they don't they are a victim as well but they're an enabler because they don't want to be as much of a victim as what they're witnessing they think that they are sort of like saving themselves 
from being punished the way that you are being punished. So for me, in my experience, it was very difficult to grow up this way, to feel like you only have one or two in a household full of people. You feel like you only have one or two sane people that you in, that you can go and talk to. And when you go up in a household where there are multiple narcs, so you may have two covert narcs and an overt narc, or two overt narcs and one covert narc, you are like in a mental prison. If you feel like so trapped, you feel so suffocated, you can't breathe, you can't talk, and you honestly feel like you're losing your mind because nobody's validating you. Nobody's justifying what you're going through. Nobody even wants to hear what you're going through. And everyone tries to make it seem like it's only happening inside your own head. They tell you things like it's only for your own good or they just love you so much. So you spent a great deal of your time constantly thinking about this and trying to make sense of a situation that makes absolutely no sense. So the enabler, I mean, their role is to basically sort of make it okay for the narcissist. And for some people, um, there's this thing called flying monkeys, which I will do another video on. But flying monkeys will actually put you in position to be attacked by the narcissist. They will literally set up roles for you to be uh, attacked by them. For example, there are people who have gone completely no contact with their narc abusers. So kudos to you guys, big thumbs up. But there's people who have gone no contact and they may be in contact with someone who's in contact with the person that they are in no contact with. So for example, you may have two sisters and one sister, sister A is no contact with the father and sister B is still in contact with the father. Sister A and sister B still communicate with each other. So sister B may be the narcissist enabler so what she does is she sets up a way to where the narcissist has access to sister a so she will be considered a flying monkey because she's she's also an enabler and she's flying monkeys are automatically enablers and so basically she's setting up and she's cutting that barrier between them so that there's no more no contact so now he has access to her so that's basically what flying monkeys do they pretty much set it up so that the narcissist is able to abuse you. They make it nice and pretty and set up the whole situation. They just come in and completely dominate. So, I mean, this is like some really, really sick psychological trauma. I mean, for people who go through this and they do not wake up from this, they do not realize what's going on with them, I feel so sorry for them because they spend their whole life thinking that they are crazy, thinking if that they just change this, fix this, do this over, remove this, that it'll change. That these people will some way and somehow love them and care about them as people and it's never going to happen. And then the people that do wake up and realize, such as myself, as to what's been going on and how this whole dynamic works and how it's just complete craziness, you spend so much of your time trying to understand, well, why me? Why did I have to go through this? Why did this happen to me? And then you take another great deal of your time and you try to explain it to people and they're lost. I mean, they have no idea what you are talking about. So that is my video on narcissistic enablers. Um, please feel free to continue to leave your comments. Like I said, I love getting all the comments. I make sure I reply to all of them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and you guys have a great night.